All right, so we got all the cement board on and now we're gonna go through and we're gonna check out some of the walls. There is a lot of prep that I need to do on the outside of these walls. Um, mainly because of this window, the way they framed it in and how far I need to go out. So it poses a few problems and where I'm gonna end, where it meets the sheetrock um, and a few other things. Now I talked to you earlier about adjusting the studs on this job or in, in this wall right here. And I didn't adjust the studs there. I showed you how to do it and it does make it a lot simpler so you don't have problems like this. But this is actually a situation where it doesn't really bow in down here or up here, but right in this area, which is fine because I could have adjusted that with the studs and just cut smaller studs and just made that push out where it was supposed to be. But there are some dips in this wall and there's another way that we can do this to take care of it. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. And it's a pretty simple method. Um, obviously, because we have prep on the walls, it's gonna take some time for it to dry. So we probably won't be able to do anything to these walls till tomorrow, which is fine. Cause today we're gonna do the shower pan. We're actually on day three on this job because day one, I really didn't have a lot of time here um, yesterday. Day two, it snowed, so we didn't get here till a little later. Um, so basically yesterday we did a lot of rebuilding. We did all the cement board. And so that's where we are. And that's kind of where you can kind of get an idea of how long it's gonna take you. Um, if you do this on the weekends or whatever, how many days do you think it's gonna take you to do a shower like this? And it's a good idea to know that so you can plan it out. Um, so as we go, I'll kind of give you an idea of how long things have been taking me so that you can get a grasp on how long it does take. But I got this level here. It's just a four foot level. Um, you could use a six foot, but I wouldn't use anything smaller than a four to find this out. So you can get a good idea of your wall. And a shorter level isn't gonna show as much. Okay, so basically you can see that there's a big gap right in here all the way down and it actually comes all the way down to about right there so as I go forward it shrinks up and it starts to come up this way so basically you need to get in there and just take a look and see and just draw a line where it ends and Okay, so you've seen how big this gap is right in here, and then it just keeps shrinking up. And so as all I did is I drew lines. You can see my line there and here, and I just kept looking to see. And it's really hard to get this with the camera, but I just kept following the line up as it shrunk. And then when it got to about right in here, it's completely gone. So it went from zero to being completely flat right here to how I drew this section out where it opened up and it actually got close to 3 16 of an inch right there. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this in to get it flat. Imagine now you're trying to lay your tile, you're trying to install your tile and you get to a spot like right here where it's completely flat and all of a sudden it dives in. So you got a piece that's flat, now this next piece wants to sink in. And so what happens is one tile will come in. So now you have an uneven joint there. Now this is something that you can fix by flattening the wall out, which is the easiest way, or you can take thin set and put extra thin set on the back of another tile to get it to come out more. It's really a pain in the butt to do it that way. I only like to do it that way if I'm absolutely in a pinch and I missed a little spot where I didn't see that it was uneven or I had a hump in the concrete or something or in the wall but you don't want to do it that way. This is the best way to just go around now and make sure all of your walls are flat. If it's just really small, like 16th of an inch, that's something that you can work with. You don't have to get crazy here, but when you get big humps where it's almost a quarter inch difference in between there, that's where you want to fill. And I'm going to show you right now how we're going to do that. The other thing that we're going to talk about is the joints taping the joints. Now because I'm going to go through and use Hydroban to waterproof this shower, I always just use the Hydroban in the corners to paint over that tape so I don't do any filling usually. Now I'm going to show you a spot right here. You can see the cement board 
has a big gap right there. Well, you don't need to replace this cement board and put a brand new piece in because we cut it a little short there. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to fill that in with inset. And then we'll put the joint tape on tomorrow when we do the waterproofing. So I'm not even going to put joint tape on this right now. I'm just going to put mud in there, some thin set in there just to fill that up, smooth it out real good. And then um, we'll put tape on tomorrow. You could tape this right now, but you don't need to because we're going to. You just want to make sure you get it flat. Now this area I taped because I'm going to be filling over the top of this right now and I want to know exactly where those joints are so I just taped them now. That's why I taped this and then we'll go over some more taping in the corners and on the seams tomorrow. Okay so what I'm going to show you here is these are some different trawls that I use now. I use a trawl that you can get online and you can find this in my project planner and maybe somewhere else on my blog. Um, but this is a trawl handle, okay? And these are the different trawl blades. Like this one right here is a quarter inch by quarter, okay? Then I got a 3 16 by 3 16 This would be used for like smaller tiles, like two by twos. This one you could use for 12 by 12s, but I recommend anything 12 by 12 and a bigger is a 3 8 by a quarter, which I'll show you next. So the quarter by quarter I'd use on anything in between two by twos and um, 12 by 12s. This is a three eighths by quarter. Now this one I would use for um, 12 by 12s, um, 13 by 13s. Once you start getting into the bigger tiles like the 16 by 16, 18 by 18s, 20 by 20s you want to start using a bigger notch like a half inch by ha by a half inch notch here now this leaves a lot of thin set but you need a lot when you have big tiles like that so basically what you do with this trawl is you just take the handle and you just slide it right in and it just goes right in there and then i just give it a couple bangs on the floor and it's in there nice now i can treat uh, change this out this handle right here it's like five bucks these different trawls are like five bucks so you buy one handle maybe two probably one and then you get the different blades for five bucks now if you go to Home Depot Lowe's anywhere like that you're gonna see that you're gonna pay anywhere between eight and ten bucks for a trawl and those ones aren't very good these ones the reason why I'm even showing you is because they last a long time they have really good hard steel and they're just really nice. I like the way the handle fits on there. I just think that it's a good uh, trawl for you to try. So um, just look for this on, on my blog. Okay, so basically in here, we're looking at about 3 16 of an inch. So I'm gonna go just a smidge bigger. I'm gonna go with quarter by quarter. I just wanna take some thin set and spread it on the wall. And this gets messy, it's a little wet, this thin set is right now. But I know that right here in that area is where I want to stop. So if you get the floor clean before you do this, if any of it drops on the floor, then you can just pick it up and reuse it. Just gonna fill in this area where I know that I got my lines.
So now you see how I spread that out. I got some pretty decent tracks there. Like I said, the thin set is a little wet, so you can mix it a little drier. Now we're gonna get this dirty. Basically, is all I'm gonna do is use this kind of like a screed, and I'm just gonna come across it. And take off the stuff that I didn't need. And I just got a bucket of water here. And I just wash this off then real quick because this is my good level. I would recommend using something, oops, like a straight edge of some sort, not a two by four because if that two by four isn't straight, then you're really not gonna do much good anyway. So you see how it flattened out around the edges and then it stayed in the middle. Now is all I do is I let this sit and I'm gonna let it dry. I know that's the thickness I'm gonna need. Once that dries, which could be later on today, but more than likely tomorrow, we'll come in here and we'll smooth it out. And basically this right here is where it ended for me. So where my line went straight and so I'm just going to put this on this part of the wall and I'm just going to wipe this down on the edge there. Now, it is kind of sloppy there, so this is why I have this. And this doesn't have to get perfect because I'm actually going to come across this now next anyway, but I really wanted to get it smooth right in here. So you can take a trowel like this, or I'll even just show you with this, and just use the back side. Just try to smooth it out. There is a spot right there that dips. So I really want to make sure I have thin set there. So we'll take some more. I got a spot right here where the sheetrock meets the cement board. Sorry about all the noise. Bring this back down. So you can use this and I'll show you with this, but I do want to show you just smooth it out. Okay, I'm just pressing lightly on the trowel. I'm not trying to take it off. Or if you get one of these trawls, if you have a lot of prep, I really suggest you getting one of these. And this is a uh, finishing trowel, you can find it in the concrete section. It's 16 inches is what I use. Come straight up. Okay, the, the biggest thing is, is you want to try to get it smooth, but you don't want to try to make it, you don't want to try to make it perfect in the first shot if you can. Just give it, I got a little rock in there, so I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna add a little bit more right there because I know right here, if I put my trowel flat on this wall and run it along, then it ends up catching up with right in there with the quarter inch notch and that's it i'm going to leave it like that and dry because i i know i have to put another coat on in there and i don't want to try to sit here and keep going over it to perfect it when i know i won't be able to the first try okay so now let's talk about this corner and I'll make sure I wash this off right away. If you use your level to do this, make sure you get that thin set off before it dries. My cameraman's gonna wash it off when we're done filming this. 
just take a little spat. And just, you can use that just to get a thin set in there. The biggest key is, is you don't want to leave a hump there. And a lot of times when you have thin set that's wet, it'll bow out right where the deepest spot is. You just, you don't need to make this so that it's perfectly smooth, where it's perfectly even, I mean. You can have it bow in a little bit, but not bow out. If it does, we can just scrape it off tomorrow. But So this is a little messy, this part you can see, you can see a little bit I got on the floor there, but I swept the floor good so now I can just wipe it up and use that in other spots. So that's it, that's what it looks like and tomorrow I'll show you some more with it. I'm going to continue doing some more filling up on the ceiling and stuff right now and um, we'll go over this spot and how to do that and get this perfectly flat tomorrow. Okay, so I'm going to show you I am going to do something with this wall today too. So just basically I'm coming across straight even with this, this wall. Not this one, this one. And if I do that... I should get a nice straight line then because I made sure that it was level and then that takes care of that problem that I was having. And I did put tape in this one. making sure I fill it I'm just coming straight down so that's basically how I'm going to do it all the way down and all the way up so that's how you do that okay Mm-hmm. <laughs> 